Hi guys, my name is Natalia Lee and I'm the author of the young adult novels Highborn, Way of Spears, and the soon to be released Song of the Dryad. Speaking of Song of the Dryad, I am going to be self-publishing it, which is something I revealed on my channel maybe a month or so ago. And I also revealed my current to-do list about a month ago, and I have been slowly working my way through those things on my to-do list. So today I am giving you an updated self-publishing to-do list. And again, this is only my current self-pub to-do list, but I will eventually be providing you the entire list of everything I did, how I broke it down, you know, the release date versus when you get it edited versus when you need to, you know, figure out who your cover designer is. All that stuff will eventually be coming after I figure it all out for myself, but today I'm just going to be sharing my updated to-do list for self-pub. All right, let's get started. And I have self-published in the past. Um, anybody that's been on my channel for a while knows that. I self-published Highborn and Way of Spears, but I definitely did not self-publish them in like a professional way. I was very much a beginner um, when I published those books and this time around I'm trying to do it right. So personally I am looking at the experience of publishing Song of the Dryad as if it was my first time self-publishing a novel. It's kind of like an updated debut novel for me is kind of how I'm looking at it. So I'm trying to do everything in a very like I don't know. I don't know if professional is the right word to use, but uh, I'm doing my best here. All right, here is my checklist. So what have I already done? So I finished the fifth draft. That's something I needed to do. Um, I already kind of finalized who my cover designer is. I do not have a final cover yet. My designer is still working on it, but I did already finalize who that person is and they have my information and they're working on it. So that is in the works. Um, let's see, I registered um, a new business. I registered my own indie publishing house. So there was a lot to learn about that and I will be sharing videos on it if you guys are interested in opening your own publishing houses. Uh, but that is something I did. Let's see, oh, I had my manuscript edited. That was new. I had never worked with a professional editor before, so that is all finished. Um, let's see, okay. I have fallen behind on some things, but here is what is currently uh, still to be done. So first I have to figure out ARCs and ARC reviewers, and if I'm going to have ARCs, which stands for Advanced Readers Copy, or Advanced Reader Copies, advanced readers reader cop advanced readers copy um so pretty much the purpose of those is to send them out before the actual release date so that your book has reviews on the day it comes out now amazon you cannot uh, i've heard that you cannot review a book on amazon until it has actually come out so typically I think ARC reviewers review the book on like their own social media as well as Goodreads beforehand and then they will like copy and paste their review onto Amazon the day the book launches. That's my understanding of it. Uh, I've never really had ARC reviewers before so it's something that I'm researching and I'm trying to learn and you will very likely be seeing a video about it on my channel here shortly uh, once I decide how to move forward with that. So I sent information to my cover designer. Uh, they still need my interior pages because they're formatting my book as well. So that needs to happen. Um, once I get all of that back from my cover designer and interior formatter, then I have to do a final proofread. So once all the pages are laid out and everything is done, I have to finalize the proof to make sure that all the pages look good, there are no more errors, everything is spick and span and ready to go. I would prefer to do that on an actual proof copy because I find it much um, easier to catch mistakes in a physical book than reading on a screen. So I hope we can get that done soon so that I can order the proof copy and get that going. So that's still on there. 
Um, I am learning about the whole like Library of Congress pre-assigned control member program. Um, I registered through them and I got my like login to use the Library of Congress like account page. So now I just have to like put in the information for Song of the Dryad and request those control numbers. And then once the book comes out, you have to send them a physical copy of the book to have on record. Uh, so I am working my way through that. Uh, I would like to set up a blog tour slash vlog tour, pretty much just to like get the information out there that I'm going to have a book releasing, but I have not done any work at all whatsoever to set up those tours yet. So that's in the works. Um, let's see, I need to do a cover reveal, but I can't reveal the cover yet because I don't even know what the cover looks like because it's still in the process. So that's coming, um, let's see send copies to ARC reviewers, set up pre-orders, um, and then do like stuff release week. Again, I've never done like a big release week before. My book just came out and I told like 10 people and that's all it was when uh, Way of Spears came out. And when Highborn came out, I was the only person that bought it and my family bought some and that was it. So nothing happened. But this time around, I want to have a really fun release day week where I will be putting out videos. I want to do a live stream. I just want to really celebrate the week and let everybody know what it is leading up to, which will be the release day. And I still am not revealing the day that I'm hoping to release the book. It is still up here, but not out here yet. Uh, so that is my current to-do list. Right now, I do kind of feel like I'm sitting on my hands waiting to be able to get the cover and get the interior formatting going. And I have always been somebody that like rewards myself with character art when I finish the first draft of a new novel. So artwork is incredibly important to me. Um, I do some Photoshop myself. You guys have probably seen it. I have a video a few before this of me making cover actually. This is the cover that I made for Song of the Dryad just for myself, for my proof version, uh, which I really like how it turned out actually. I think it's really pretty. But what I'm getting at here is that I love art and artwork and I am so impatient to get my cover design back. Like I just cannot wait. And I am sure that most, if not all of us feel this way when waiting to get um, our covers. Like if you are somebody that has paid a designer to make your cover or, you know, whatever it is. Um, maybe you bought character art. You know, it is such like a hard process being patient and just waiting. Um, I am getting like a little bit anxious because the entire process is supposed to be finished by the end of this month. Uh, so they'll be kind of working on it over the course of a month, but I haven't been able to approve anything yet. I haven't been able to see anything yet. And I'm filming this on the 16th. So I'm, biding my time, I'm being patient, but I'm extremely excited to see what they are kind of putting together for me and to see how it's gonna turn out, but I just cannot wait because I want to be able to do a cover reveal and really get things going. And at this point, I feel like I'm kind of stuck because in order to do like the final proofread, I need to have the pages formatted and laid out, which is what this uh, these people are doing for me that I hired um, to do the interior formatting. So I'm very much stuck. Like, I, I don't think I can move forward with all the other things I need to do until the cover design and interior formatting is complete. So that is kind of the roadblock at the moment. Of course, when I have a cover, I will definitely be releasing it because I'm so excited to show it to you guys. And when I have my release date really solidified, I'll be giving that to you as well. The reason I haven't told you one yet is because I don't want to rush myself or rush the process and then have things fall through the cracks. So if I were to tell you like, hey, it's coming out September 1st, which it's not, that's not the day, um, then I would feel very panicked and rushed to get it out by that day. And I don't wanna do that. I'm not sure how long every step of the process is going to take because I am new to this like proper professional way of doing things. You know, before I could just kind of say, hey, this is the day I want it to come out, finish my edits, make the book cover, and then it comes out. But I am sourcing out some of the work now, which means I'm not the only person in control of how long it takes. Um, so there's that. 
Also, random fact, I received uh, a rejection from an agent today that I queried back in May. It is now the middle of August, so it took her three months to get back to me. It was a form rejection. And every time one of those comes in, because they come in every so often, because I did query, I don't know, like 18 agents or something. Um, every time one comes in to my inbox, I just feel a little bit better knowing that I made the right decision choosing to publish this book on my own. And uh, I'm very interested to see what happens, not only with my books, but the entire self-publishing realm, because it is growing so fast right now, especially with our AuthorTube community, because we're now helping each other and teaching each other. So the quality of content of books is really going up. It's really increasing. So here in the next few years, I'm excited to see what is going to become of this. But yeah, just fun fact, I received another rejection today and felt great knowing those rejections are not holding me back. They can continue to kind of drip into my inbox and I'm not gonna mind at all. So that's that for today. Um, I am definitely adding to my to-do list as I'm figuring out new things. Like I said, because this is my first like real book release, I am learning all the time. So there are things that I've added. There are things that I've taken off because I've decided not to do them. I think in my last video, I was like, oh my gosh, do I do a pre-order? Do I not do a pre-order? But I've decided to do a pre-order because based on what I've heard, your, your pre-orders do count to your sales on release date. I'm gonna do more research, but that's what I've heard and that's what I was worried about at first is, you know, if a bunch of people pre-order, are those actually gonna count toward my sales on Amazon or are those gonna go like undetected and undiscovered? And I don't think that's the case. So I will be doing a pre-order that will, that will likely be going live, you know, around the same time that I do the cover reveal. Once I get my cover back, because I am trying to wait, I'm trying to be so patient here and it's really a struggle for me. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you have your own self-publishing checklist or to-do list, it would be awesome if you wanna share it either below or in like a direct message to me or an email, because again, I feel like AuthorTube, like our community is helping each other so much. So the things that I'm putting on my to-do list are things that I've learned from other amazing authors and creators in this community because that's why we're here. We learn from each other and we share with each other. What was I saying before my phone call? Oh, so if any of you have like self-publishing to-do lists or checklists that you would like to share with me, maybe there's something on yours that I don't have on mine yet that would really benefit me in the long run or you know benefit the book launch, please let me know because that's the whole purpose of our community is to share and grow and learn from each other, so yes. All right, so that's that. That is it for now. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.